Hello and welcome to yet another episode of the show. I am Njara Njama, your host with the most. Like you know it, we serve you with all of the juiciest details at CD Hot. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about something pretty interesting. How to use your five senses in your romantic relationship. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Basic science has taught us that we have five senses. Now, well, how interesting do you think it would be if those five senses that you have biologically can transcend into some relevance in your romantic relationship? Well, this is what I am here for, making your relationship and your life a little bit more spicy than just the ordinary. Let's delve right in. First sense is the sense of smell. Now. Hmm. In a relationship, you got to filter what you allow your partner to smell. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. But you got to filter what you allow your partner to smell. You got to look good and feel good so that he can smell something. And for the ladies, you know all of you that like your man giving you heads. Yes, you all, including me. Yeah, but you got to make that place smell really good. Now, don't feel bad. There's a natural smell that every woman has. And that is, there's nothing bad in that. But when there's an additional something that is there that is not supposed to be there, mm, no, I don't see any reason why you should deserve somebody to go down there. So smell good. Whether you're a man or a woman, whether you are in a relationship or you're just all by yourself, at least you owe yourself that to smell good. And the whole public to smell good. Yes, second thing that we want to talk about as far as the five senses is the sense of touch. Now, remember how we did a vlog about why it is important for you to touch your partner more often in a romantic relationship? I'm not going to go over all of the details. We dedicated one whole vlog for this thing. So you got to go and watch it. I will leave the link below. So you just click on the button and watch it. Basically, a day shouldn't pass by without you touching your partner. Except, of course, he traveled or she traveled or they are not, you know, together. But if you are together, you got to touch each other. It's a good feeling. So we have going to the third. And the third is basically hearing. And we're going to discuss this hearing thing on the two subtopics. And the first thing is filter what you allow your partner to hear. Now, for, for in a relationship, there's a lot of familiarity in it. There is a lot of, there's a lot of bridges that have been broken down. And so it's become very difficult for you to filter some things. But you owe yourself that thing to filter what you allow your partner here. If it is not positive energy, don't say it. Like John Rivers will always say, if you do not have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. So I want to ask you, what are you allowing your partner here? What are the things that you're feeding him with? What is seeping through his mind from you? What is seeping through her mind from what you say to her? Is it empowering? Is it positive? Is it energetic? Is it taking her to the better place or taking him to a better place? Or you're the type that will wake up nagging him or nagging her. Oh, you don't know that men nag. You need to see a nagging man. And then you will know that it is worse than you can imagine. We have two more senses to talk about. I'll be right back with the remaining senses and how you can use it in your romantic relationship. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back. And we were actually talking about five senses and how they are relevant in your romantic relationship. We are down to two more senses, and that's a sense of taste and a sense of sight. And so for taste, I would like to specifically make this for those in a marriage. I don't want to say romantic relationship because, well, it is expected, arguably, that you should be able to cook for your partner, whether you're a man or your woman. I know, I know, the feminists would be like, no, the woman should not just be cooking. And the extremists would be like, no, it is the woman's job to be cooking. Don't worry, we are going to have a panel here very soon to discuss gender roles in relationship. 
you need to watch out for that vlog it is going to be amazing but without any controversy you should be able to cook for your partner i mean make something prepare something something edible whether you're a man or a woman just be able to fix something for him or for her and it should taste good and you know things are a lot easy it doesn't have to be all of that stressful you can just quickly be able to do something for your family and that is how you will use the sense of taste to spice up your relationship the final sense before I cap it all, is the sense of sight. And I think this is like the very first one that becomes very relevant between a boy and a girl. He first has to see something that would, you know, inspire the something in him. Before he can now say, okay, well, if she looks like this, there is going to be a reasonable assumption that she will be this, that, and that. And so, just look good. I know many guys come and say, oh, they don't like makeup, or makeup is this, or they're deceiving, and they're liars. Trust me, every guy likes a girl that is appealing. So be appealing for him. And you guys, be appealing for her. Please, do not just pick up anything you see and just throw it in and just go because you're a man. Put in some effort. We also like to see Good things and for those of you that are already married you know lots of you feel that once you're married you've gotten to your bus stop or those of you that are already in serious relationship and you're talking about marriage you just be hands off I don't need to do anything girl no in fact that is when you need to do more because the thing that you're seeing in the guy that is making you want to settle with him many other chicks are seeing it so if you do not you know be on top of your game and keep the man going, it might not work out as planned. And I just want to add one final sense in the whole thing before I wrap it up. And that is your mind. I don't know where that comes in. But I think that it is important for you to refresh your mind. You cannot, we cannot overemphasize this. There is need for you to refresh your mind. There is need for you to absorb information. There is need for you to seek knowledge. There is need for you to seek new techniques new ways of doing things that cannot be overemphasized whether you are in a marriage whether it's just a relationship or whether it's just for your self development you owe the world this to be a better person be better at what you do don't keep doing one thing over and over again and be expecting a different result i think i'm 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 have to i might i might have to become a motivational speaker very soon and just brush up on my skills and you know Anyway, that's just on a lighter note. So far, we have talked about how your five senses can be relevant in your romantic relationship. Sense of sight, sense of smell, sense of touch, sense of taste, and sense of hearing. Beyond it all, your mind. That's where the power actually lies. Until I come your way next time with something equally as amazing as today's topic, I want to give big shout out to OK Oaks. She made all of this happen. I mean, she is your makeup artist for all of your events and occasions. You name it, she got you. I'll leave her Instagram handle right below so you can check her out. I'm just, just feeling fly, you know very fly and of course my super amazing cinematographer kd studios my god you are seeing the video now you know how it looks like eh? come on patronize us i'm the managing director of the company it's not like getting will give me any court shall, but then i'm the managing director until i come away next time with all of your juiciest details stay inspired bye